Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Pearson here. Um, brand new uh, Principal Woodland High School. I'm here in Mr. Shop's old office. I don't know if you can see it. I put some pictures up here on the wall and everything. Look at that. See? Made it my own a little bit. Um, Mr. Shop has left some very uh, big shoes for me here to fill. Can't wait to get started. What you're going to see here is a video that's going to make an effort to kind of communicate to you what the year's going to look like, or at least what the fall is going to look like. This fall, we're back to school. This is school. This is the new normal version of school for the time being. Classes are going to meet in virtual classrooms, online classrooms on a regular schedule. You're going to be asked and expected to log in and meet with your teachers and, and they'll have assignments for you and you'll need to do them and you'll need to, be, to complete them and you'll get scores on them and then you'll get grades. We're doing school. We're taking attendance. You're getting grades. You're accruing credits. Uh, we are meeting in classrooms on a regular schedule. You're going to see your friends. You're going to see your teachers. Yes, in virtual classrooms, but we're meeting, we're in school. What does online school even look like? What does that mean to be an online school? Well, uh, as a part of this video, you're going to see some video segments um, that will give you a feel for it. Um, Ms. Benedict ran a pilot class. Several of the, of the students here uh, really graciously agreed to help us test an idea for a math class, and Ms. Benedict taught it, and you're going to see some video clips about what that looks like. In a couple days, Ms. Conant is going to run a sample class session with her government students. And again, thanks to those students that volunteer, volunteered to help us out. And you're going to see video clips of examples of what online school looks like. Um, the shortest version is that there will be, uh, you'll sit in front of your computer during class time and you'll have a video feed and you'll be able to communicate with text chat and the teacher will share images with you. And maybe you'll have something to share from your screen with your classmates and the classes will be conducted. The classes generally will not run for as long because they'll be like teacher directed time and there will be times when you're working on your own. So you won't spend as much time in uh, like directly interacting with the teacher in the class you might normally. Uh, you'll spend some, some of that work time is gonna be on your own. Uh, but uh, take a look at these video segments and it will give you a pretty good feel or at least a better feel for what it will look like on a day of online school. Okay, the next question that might be on your mind is this. Has Dr. Pearson even brushed his hair yet today? Yes, yes I have, thanks for asking. On this screen, you will see the schedule over here. Uh, it has got, uh, you'll notice in the afternoons, there are four chunks of time here in the afternoons and this is when classes normally meet. On Mondays, it's, a little different. Mondays flop back and forth a little bit. Some Mondays, periods one, two, three, and four meet, and then every other Monday, and you see how it's designated here, periods four, five, and six will meet. Uh, the other days, Tuesdays and Thursdays, periods one, two, and three meet. Wednesdays and Fridays, periods four, five, and six meet. That's and, and CLCs every day. Uh, that is in the afternoon. Over here in the morning, you're going to see. Uh, some uh, you're going to see some small group uh, and uh, individual assistance time. This is a point these, during these times your teacher is going to break each class into small groups, about four small groups of probably four, five, six, seven students each, and you will meet on a schedule in small groups. Maybe you're working on a small group project, maybe you're doing small group tutorial, uh, but the and you'll meet with these small groups about once every other week. Uh, and these are also mandatory. So every class meeting that you have here are mandatory meetings and, and attendance will be taken. And for each of these, the teachers are going to be working to introduce new concepts and, and uh, work with you and give you the help that you need. And also to make sure that you, you get uh, connected and your classmates get connected. And, and that is a schedule we are going to follow. So regular classes will start September 8th. We are going to have orientation meetings September 1, 2, and 3. Check your school email. Check your school email. That's how you're going to get the link to sign up for slots, picking up materials, and signing necessary forms prior to the start of school. We're going to do that. Ms. Preston is uh, spearheading an effort to uh, put together custom bags. Like every one of you, is, every student is going to have a bag, like a drawstring bag with the Woodland logo on it with your name on it, and it's gonna have in it the stuff you need for your classes. We're gonna look up your class list, uh, where if you need a textbook, we'll put the textbook in there. If you need whatever it is, we're gonna put it in there, and you'll have a chance to pick up your stuff according to a schedule on August 26th and 27th. 
The details are in the mailer that's getting sent out. Uh, but what you need to know is that you need to show up with a parent or guardian on the 26th or 27th, both because you got to pick up stuff and because we need your folks, your guardians, to sign uh, an updated acceptable use uh, policy form for use of electronic equipment. That's required. That's necessary that that happen. So put that on your calendar. What's my favorite food? What's my favorite movie? All right. My favorite food, frozen red grapes, without a doubt. Frozen red grapes. If you've not had frozen red grapes, or if you think you might not like them, you're wrong. You'll love them. Go down to the store right now, buy yourself some seedless red grapes, and pop them into the freezer. Leave them there for 24 hours. You will never be the same. Everyone's favorite topic, grading. Last spring, uh, the state, OSPI, the state uh, stipulated that you couldn't, your grade couldn't drop, right? Like whatever grade you had in March, you can keep that grade no matter what happened. Uh, but that's not the situation this fall. This fall, you're accruing credits toward graduation. You're going to get scores on your assignments, and you're going to get grades, just like normal. And it starts right off the bat. All right, so I'm sure I have not answered all your questions. Here's my email. Here's my phone number. Give me a call. Give me an email for any reason. I'd love to talk with you. Uh, we're going to have a good year. Go Beavers.